During my studies in, at the Kunstakademie in Düsseldorf, I was first mainly interested in photography. I made macroscopic photographs of thumb-like wood pieces and blew them up so big that you could really see what's happening in the texture. Then I started um, research on a printing technique from the 1920s in which you could use for the first time an unlimited number of colors for printing. The marbling on the silk were so fine that again by enlarging the pattern you could really see what's happening inside the fabric and how infinite details there is inside of this process. 2015, I think, there was a profound change in my work. It was actually a small change. I just started to produce the things that I was photographing. The first work I did, I simply produced small pieces of pigment and plastiline and photographed them. Then I printed these pieces in a very large scale and still used the same photographic techniques, but with something that I created myself. Four years ago, shortly before moving to this part of France, I was making pieces for the house, tiles for the bathrooms and lamps for the bedrooms. When I started doing the objects myself, maybe something happened in the process of, of touching. Through this change, I think there was also a change for me from the looking outside to the looking inside. For the upcoming exhibition, I made objects that were inspired by meditations. My friend Anna Vogel and I, we both took the decision to move out of the city. For her, it's in Austria, in the mountains. For me, it's in the southwest of France, very close to the ocean. Mountains rise above the surface of water, but also underneath the surface of the ocean. My explorations were those of a mermaid. These sculptures are the treasures that I found inside. <laughs>